Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Heavy Rain. So, in the last video, uh, do we even need to talk about that? <clears throat> so, Ethan, 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 Ethan. The more that I'm watching this, the more that I'm thinking that it's it's a plausible hypothesis. <clears throat> to say that this is just an elaborately orchestrated uh, punishment for Ethan on himself uh, it seems it seems possible highly possible that part of him can't forgive himself for what he did or can't forgive himself for letting Sean die or letting Jason die excuse me as he sees it and maybe this is himself, his subconscious rather, his, uh, I don't know, alter side, schizophrenic side, whatever, whatever part of him that he's unaware of, is creating a scenario that he has another opportunity to save his son, a son, in this case, Sean. And um, basically giving himself another opportunity to save his son and because he's so angry at himself and feels like he was responsible for it, he's punishing himself by putting himself through all these trials. And that sounds like a reasonable <clears throat> theory. Um, however, it, it still comes across as, as rather obvious to me at this point. It just seems like it's too, it's too obvious and I I, I, so I'm a little bit wary of it still because I'm just used to games giving you an obvious um, theory like giving you an uh, what what they're trying to make you believe and while you're distracted by believing in that theory the the actual answer is going to be something far less obvious than that so I'm still not going to say with a hundred percent certainty <clears throat> that Ethan's the origami killer because after all we know nothing about this Madison Page girl or what her role is going to be in this game other than kind of randomly helping Ethan out but as we're playing as Madison Page right now I keep wanting to call her Page which is a first name um, maybe we're gonna get some of those answers cuz I'm ready to get some answers about Madison play all right, so it's still raining. Nothing new. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. What? Lucky that patrol How did they the know car. he was What's there? He doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's going to choose between your theories and concrete proof. Wait, did he say that Ethan doesn't match the profile? Because I, Marsh comes out now. She's I was looking trouble. at. What do we do, Lieutenant? Want to get her out? No, stand down. How did they know he was there? He's in a different. Oh no, that car crashed, huh? Okay, so we're playing Madison. Maybe he took his own car then, and they found his car, because he's not staying at home. He's staying at a hotel, motel. What are you doing there, Madison? Did you go back into his room and open the box? The cops don't know. I can't even see I that. I could just walk into the building without being noticed. The police. They staked out the building where Ethan is. Yes, they have. have to warn Ethan. How do you know all of this? Is this the building? I don't recall. Is this it? Yeah, am I going the wrong way? Hello? I have a feeling we're on a timer, considering we can still see the, uh... Oh, is this it? Yes? No? God! Considering the cops are still there, come on! Move that... Move those legs, sister! What? Is this it? Aha! She's going and inside. she's gonna find him passed out like she, she always does. Well, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police... They're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another Ethan. way out. Shit. 
maybe we'll her role in this is Wait to for just a go help him. on my word. Shit. Uh, no, no, no. Find another way out, huh? Uh, I can't see a damn thing. What's this? <laughs> well, one thing, one thing is for sure. We need to get Ethan out of here. Oh, okay. No, just kidding. I'm not afraid of rodents. No, 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 I'm not. <clears throat> what? Can't go out there? Is that? Why did you close that? Why did you close that? Okay, fine. Nothing but a closet. All right. Hurry, hurry. Did we come in this way? Maybe we did. Okay, so we gotta find a way out, but I really can't even see my way around this. <clears throat> we can go out this way. I'm not sure what perspective I'm in. Oh, for goodness sake. For goodness sake. Madison, use those big girl muscles. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Get him out of here. How does she know all this? How did she know where he was? I can assume that she went back in his motel and looked in the box or maybe she's an undercover agent maybe that's it shit it's too high ah oh, damn it after all that the boxes the boxes box red box maybe she's undercover and uh undercover what i don't know why she's helping him if she's undercover Ready, i don't go. know i don't know anything Stay about this here, chick no question i'm coming shit Two no, no, men no, no, at the no, no, door, no, no, hold no. your positions. No. It's a go. No, no! Come on! C c yeah. Come on! Yeah. What did. Uh. Open it! Come on! Let's go! Come Get out! Ethan! Hurry! Hurry, 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 hurry! Go faster! Oh my goodness. Come on, 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 come on! Come on! No time for mess ups! No time for screw ups! We have to. No! Go on! Get. Yes! Thank goodness! And we're gone! <gasps> uh oh! Uh oh! I'll shoot! No! I can't. Hands in the air! Screw you! Oh shit. Go 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 go. Get behind the dumpster. Shit. It's that girl who went in. Everybody downstairs. Where are we going? Follow them. Subway. Got it. No, I see it. I see it. I see it. Come on. Let's go. Oh crap. This is like Frogger but only slower and without any moving cars. Come on. Come on. Go go go. Go go go. Go go go. Out of my way, people! I have a wounded man with no pinky! Go, 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 go! Ah! Turn! Other way! Here, we, we're making it! They're almost to us! They're almost to us! We have to get away! Thank goodness. Now hopefully our getaway is just default and I don't have to navigate a subway. <clears throat> oh, good. Phew! Well... At this point, oh shoot! Um, oh, Ethan has a thing about crowds, doesn't he? This is gonna be bad. He's gonna flip, Ethan, isn't he? Ethan, what's the matter? We've got to keep going. He's agoraphobic. Ethan, Ethan, they're coming. Go straight. Okay. All right. No, I get it. I can either go straight or I can go. I don't know where. Let's go right. It looked like the camera was trying to tell me I could go either direction. Let's head to the right, just because uh, anybody would expect us to go straight. Ah, uh, yeah, come on. There we go. Hey, I have a bleeding man here. Get out of my way. He has Hep C. Don't touch him. Just kidding. It'll get people to move quick. Kiss my ass. I hate you. You're a terrible person. Where are we? I don't see us. 
Ah, get out of my way, people! Don't you see this as an emergency? Ah, uh, please don't tell me I have to cross the tracks. That would be the worst thing imaginable. Oh, Jesus, I have to cross the tracks? No! Ah, no! This is terrible! I don't want to do this! I don't want to cross the tracks! Are you guys insane? Oh, God! Oh, God! Up! Oh my god, this is a stick. Of course, how could it be any other way? Of course, we're gonna have to jump in front of a subway. Oh! Yeah. Tricky, tricky, tricky. It's our only go, chance. Go, go, go. Go, Come on, give me control here. Oh, okay. Well, they're in control. Fine, you can be in control. I didn't want to be in control anyway. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, shoot, which one did we get in? I wasn't looking. I was too busy catching my breath from this intense scenario. All right, so we're back playing as Ethan. I guess since we're at 11 minutes now, I can go one more mission. Might have to cut it off in the middle, but let's keep going. I feel some forward momentum. We've got some, uh, we got some kinetic energy. You have earned a trophy, Less fugitive. Ago, Fantastic. I don't care. Have identified the man thought to be the origami killer, Ethan Mars. Father origami. Of the victim Sean Mars is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. This lunatic. That's unfair. He may be dangerous, but uh. I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? No. Maybe. Evade, confide, break. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm the only one who can save Sean. For your own safety, Madison, I think you should go. Go? No! Ethan, they're after me too. They've seen my face. I'm in this too deep to stop now. Yes, we thank you for that. As well. I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards <coughs> is the bodies. The bodies in the water. That must be Why terrible. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why Can were you, you in that imagine? apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. <sighs> Ethan. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. She's right. You are. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. 
You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. That doesn't sound like a good idea. He's only like half a person in his condition. Well, I guess that answers the big question then. Uh, I guess it really wasn't that big of a mystery from the beginning. But it's not definitive. Yet. Alright, pause. Um, well, one thing that I wanted to just kind of point out. So, if Sean is being held in some type of well or a drain or something like that, it's going to have to be open to the sky. Open to the, um, open to, I don't know, open. And, uh, if that were the case, then Sean should be able to yell and somebody should be able to hear him. At least those were my thoughts. What are you thinking, Ethan? Nothing? Um... I'll find you, Sean. I swear I'll find you. I got a question. If, Sean, if uh, Ethan was the one who did that to his son, then why... Pause. Just so we're not wasting in-game time. Um... If Ethan was the one who kidnapped Sean and did that to him, then why was Sean calling for his dad? Don't you think he would have been calling for his mom or something like that? Not wanting his dad to come save him? Unless he was saying, Dad, what are you doing? Let me out of here. That kind of thing. Although I think the situation is serious enough that it kind of wouldn't really have that tone to it. I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. The box. I have to open another origami figure. Oh man, how many were there? I've gotten three. I don't know if Ethan can survive anymore. Let's take that antibiotic. No, I didn't forget. Come on, please tell me you can use it. No, it doesn't look like it. We're gonna be in trouble though, cause I don't know if I was supposed to find something to disinfect his hand before before we were, we chopped it, or but I I didn't see anything, and man, can you can you imagine? I try to, but I can't. Nope, we can't even open the can't open the medicine cabinet? Well, that's just retarded. From this angle, maybe? No? Alright, fine. Well, I have a feeling we're wasting time. So, don't want to go outside. Why don't you have a drink? I think you deserve one. What do you have in there? Nothing? Did you eat? She brought you food? I think you should eat and keep your strength up? Oh, here it is, right here. Will you look at that? And he doesn't want it, apparently. Ethan. Last one? Is it the last one? What's it in the shape of? I can't, uh, can't make it out. What is that? What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. I didn't see what shape it was in. Too bad. Are you prepared to kill someone? I knew it! I knew it was coming! I called it! Are you prepared to kill someone? Brad Silver. Lexington. Kill him. Send a picture. Get your award. Brad Silver. 6784 Long Road, Lexington. Kill him. Wait, Ethan, think about this. Think about this. You already have most of the... You already have most of the address! You have the first three letters! Do you know how close that will bring you? Take the address to the police, but no! This isn't that smart of a game. Alright, guys, we've got to... We're gonna have to cut it off here as much as I would love. Pause. Whoops. 
as much as I would love to continue right now, we're going to have to cut it off, and I'll see you guys in the next part of this Heavy Rain series.